Hi. In this slide, I want to expand a little bit on a, on a, on a vocab concept I call dome selling. Uh, first of all, the term would suggest that, that the dome is sort of like the roof that covers the entire account that I want to call on. And I want to think as expansively under that roof as I can as far as who is everybody that I could possibly want to know directly or indirectly that has any influence uh, uh, on or is impacted by uh, the kind of products and product solutions and paperwork flow that, that my company might be involved with going through. And uh, for example, uh, at one point doing some work for a, uh, an uh, industrial packaging company, uh, I was just kind of hypothetically showing people how to, how to do something. And I said, look, let's look at the industrial manufacturing guide. Here's this company. What do you know about them? Well, nothing. We know where they are. They employ 500 people, whatever. So I said, well, you could try this. And I, I called up the main number and they said, you know, ABC Corporation. I said, yes, can I talk to the shipping department? And they said, well, specifically, are you, you know, bah, 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 bah. And I said, oh, no, no, you know, the, the, the whatever. And they said, uh, and who is this? And I said, oh, this is Ralph. I just gave him some sort of name. They said, fine. So next thing I'm talking to Jimmy. This guy picks the phone and says, shipping, Jimmy speaking. And I said, hey, Jimmy, what kind of tape machines do we have out there in the shipping area? And he said, well, in pre-pack or post-pack? And I said, well, let's start with the pre-pack. And he said, well, we have six of these and four of these. And, and then, you know, and we were chatting for about five minutes. I said, well, they're all working well. And what kind of tape are we running through them and so forth? Well, no, some of them were down and some of the tape was gunky and I'm making notes about all the stuff. At one point, Jimmy finally said, say, who is this anyway? I said, oh, this is Bruce. And he said, oh, OK. He didn't even ask you know, if he, if he were said, to, and, and, and where are you calling from? I would have said, well, I'm, I'm calling from the company that's supposed to fix these machines. I mean, that's a little bit of a white lie. But that gives you the idea of sort of that corporate espionage. How do you get information that's going to allow you to do stuff? So the next thing to do is then to get the solutions for Jimmy, go right out to the account and walk in and say, hi, I'm here to see Jimmy Jones and shipping. I've got some stuff to deliver to them. Now, I'm not trying to sell the company anything. I'm just going to go right out, meet Jimmy and say, hi, I'm Bruce. I was talking to you. Your machines are down. Here's what I can do to take your pain away. Here are some alternative things to try. You know, let me, you know, I'll check back with you and see how this stuff is working and so forth. So already I'm doing a trial sample. I haven't called on the, on the, 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 designated purchasing kind of person who would normally buy that stuff because I'm just going to run into a stone wall. So that's the way you start to bottom up, get information, uh, cultivate your spies, do favors for them. So now they start to become your blockers and sponsors. And to a certain degree, you're, you're playing all these things off against uh, sort of the purchasing department who understandably, you know, they've they do what they do. I mean, I'm not, you know, they're, they're professionals and they don't, you know, they're buying commodities and they're happy with what they've got going on and they don't need to rock the boat. But that doesn't mean that they, they're, they're, they're aware of what may not be happening uh, at the at the plant level floor because these these silos don't talk to one another or whatever. So you're, I'm I'm I've got this company's good. I want Jimmy to be more productive. I want that company to make more money. I want the company to pack their stuff right and so forth. So. Uh, now, this is an example of a very sort of cold call uh, type of situation, very extreme. I mean, if it's a customer's a, uh, a good customer, we can we can call up our, our regular contacts and say, hey, I've got a honcho wants to come out here, talk to honcho, and just thank you for the business and, and do an audit and see how we can do what we're doing better. They say, no problem. We, we have an open door for that kind of a situation. But if we're not the incumbent, uh, you know, it's it's a much more difficult challenge, and we want to be able to... Uh, you know, crack those kind of a challenges too. Uh, in theory, again, where we're we're in a very cold account, and we do finally get to you know somebody who, in theory, has got to you know give us the order, the purchase order. Um, we want to ideally make a, a proposal to them. They'll say, well, uh, I don't I don't really get that, or I don't understand that. That's really not sort of out of my silo. They wouldn't say that term. But it's say, oh well, 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 who, 
who who would get that or who would be concerned with that? Well, you know, like my boss or my boss's boss, but but they don't talk to salespeople. Well, I appreciate that. But what we could do is we could set up a summit meeting of your boss and my boss and how could we do it in a way that's going to make you look like a total star and like you're really doing stuff, even well, you, that you're really doing stuff. We give them credit for the, the fact that they haven't done anything, but you, you've done all the work, but we're going to give them full credit. So you know, we're, we're playing, that's the diplomacy part to sort of try to get the summit meeting. Um, when we finally have a, a, a summit meeting, then a lot of ideas come up, but who's going to follow, follow up on all this stuff? And more importantly, uh, when we go out and we talk about reducing total procurement cost, we're talking about reducing the purchasing agent's job as they know it. Their job is to take care of paperwork and shop and take care of expediting and, and, and those kinds of issues. And so if we're going to drastically reduce those, they would get panicked. So part of the summit meeting is to sort of focus on what are next level value added things that, that uh, the, the current team on the buy side can work on and get them all excited about that and say, well, but how do we, how do we free up resources? How do we free up time to do it? So now all of a sudden the PA is like, yeah, I want to get rid of this because I want to move on to the next better thing uh, that's going to allow me to have more value added, more responsibility and so forth. So these are sort of uh, examples of, of, of a general concept of what I call dome selling. And uh, we're going to have to get better at it. Uh, obviously, we start off with our white belt. Someday we'll be black belt, first, second, third degree. But, but you know, we don't, a long journey starts with a simple step. So this is a, a, a new opportunity scale area for a lot of, uh, of uh, distribution organizations. Thank you.